Hello. <laughs> hey, everyone. Well, it has been a while since we've done this. <laughs> and you're... Is that my computer? Yes, it is. All right. BRB. <laughs> I thought I muted that. So how's everyone doing so far this Monday? Um, <laughs> thought we'd go live and, you know, enjoy or share a little bit what we got going on. So making sure we turn our audio down on the computer over here. Well, coming live from our warehouse, and uh, hopefully you can hear the mics, and that our audio sounds pretty good. Took us a minute to get this going. We haven't done this in a while, so just testing it out again. <laughs> kind of is how it feels. Welcome, welcome. So. We're just kind of sitting here for a minute. We're at the warehouse and thought we'd share a little bit and do a little unboxing today and uh, kind of show what we got going on with the warehouse and just kind of do a quick pop up and get back into the idea of doing lives. Um, we haven't done that in a while. So. Is anybody watching? Is that us too? Is anybody out there? Hello. <laughs> Can you hear us? Is there anybody in there? Just not if you can hear me. Uh oh. <laughs> Copyright. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> hey, Joan, how you doing today? Hi, Joan. You can hear us good, good. It's been a while since we've been live, so we're kind of getting our feet wet again. We're probably going to start doing it more regularly, but this is just a pop up to test. And so, yeah. test and kind of update our warehouse and yeah instead of waiting forever to do our work and then we get tired and don't want to do the live um we figured we'd do it early today and you know just kind of share a little bit yeah like by seven eight o'clock at night we are done so <laughs> <laughs> very much so treasure free hey how you doing treasure Lisa? freaks happy monday everyone and joan asked uh how you doing how are we We're both good. doing? Yeah, We're good. Yeah. Working hard. Very hard. <laughs> a As lot of work. As you'll see pretty soon, we're, we're piling it up here in the warehouse, but it's been fun. It's been good. We're helping people, so that's That's always thing a good thing. That, yep. So we've had some things piling up, and we figured we'd jump on and do a little unboxing and because uh, um, we got something in the mail from Adventures with the Hudson's. Um, we got our Amazon order delivered, so we have a project that we want to kind of record. And so we're going to unbox that and talk a little bit about that. And just, I don't know, um, just have a little fun. I mean, uh, break up of the norm. Hey, Gail, how you doing? Hi, Gail. Welcome. Hey. We got a surprise too in the mail and we, I thought it was oh. a return. Yes. So we're going to show you that too, because it was really interesting. Yes, it was. So, um, yeah, it's a lot of crazy things going on, but uh, you'll see what's been keeping us busy in a minute because uh, we're going to share a little bit of our warehouse right now. <laughs> and I don't think you can see it yet, but um, we will uh, definitely get to that. <laughs> um, right? Yes. You don't think you can see what yet? Our warehouse. Oh, well, I mean, kind of behind us, but not the not, piles of stuff right, not, that not, are accumulating. <laughs> yeah, not not the bigger picture, so to speak. But, well, well, would you like to get into some unboxing real quick? Sure. Or is it quick? I don't know. <laughs> um, but, well, let's get into what adventures with the hudson sent us and see what we can do with that we've been waiting to kind of open it and set it up and um so let's uh all right so we're going to um switch cameras here for a second 
<laughs> I had a good laugh when I watched the last video. <laughs> oh, that was, uh, I was joking. <laughs> I, I think it's the, uh, was it the one with the it glider? The chair, yeah. Oh, I, I so wanted to sit in that chair, but it did have a big stain in it. So then I didn't want to sit in it as much, but, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. So what do I do here? Um, you are there and so we're actually going to switch cameras a little bit and show you what we're unboxing. Um, and we're going to try and keep up with the comments, but we haven't done this in a while. So we're really kind of testing this theory a little bit too. So uh, bear with us. Yeah. Please. <laughs> we're going to switch cameras and computers. So it's going to get, it's going to get tricky here in a minute. All right. All right. I'm live. Look, Hey, we did that. We got that part done. Okay. So we're going to head over here, over there. And look, you may be able to see the comments there. So, but I don't know if we can see the comments. So oh, that's yeah. the part yep. where we're going to, I can't see you now. All right, here we are. Can you hear us? Yep. Sorry, got a... How's the audio sound? I hear it in this phone. So, do you guys have an echo? When we talk, do you hear an echo? We hear an echo. Joan said, yes, we hear an echo. Well, that is, um, <clears throat> I had it all set up before. Well, let's go back to here. And see, this is why we jumped on um, trying to get this all, all figured out. Now we're getting another echo from this computer. turn that off all right guys bear with us technical difficulties it's a beautiful day here in cleveland ohio it's about 80 degrees sunny a little overcast sunny and a little overcast is that an oxymoron <laughs> and um a little humidity. We had some really nice weather. Uh, the end of last week, it was like mid 70s and no humidity. It was so nice. They're saying it sounds fine. Someone said a little echo. Yeah. So, all right. Well, let's. Uh, Go ahead and how's it sound now? Is it better? I don't so, hear an echo. Yeah, I don't hear an echo now. See, good now. Great. Awesome. Thanks for your feedback. We appreciate that. All right. Okay. Here we are. Now I'm going to walk around here and you're going to get a little bit of a glimpse of the <laughs> craziness we have here in the warehouse. <laughs> And we're going to head over here. We are in our warehouse that is not air conditioned. So we have fans going everywhere. That we do. Oh, that's. And. It's behind. I'm going to be a little behind in the comments. I'm watching on my computer, but. There we are. And now we should be able to see the comments a little better. So, so we got this package, what, what would you say, a week or so ago? About, yeah. Um, 
So this has been sitting, waiting. We really haven't been in the warehouse. Um, but now that we're here, we're trying to get some things straightened out because we've had some off-site sales. And just to kind of give you an idea what we do, we are actually an auction firm here in Ohio. So we are actually licensed with the Department of Agriculture and bonded in the favor of the state of Ohio to be able to do online auctions. So we have been doing some offsite estate sales, downsizing sales, and uh, we haven't been in the warehouse as much. And we have consigner sales, which you saw a little bit of what's loaded in the warehouse. So, but now that we're back in the warehouse, we can address a few things so that you we mean, can you mean get caught up <laughs> <laughs> let's get caught up <laughs> well i was trying to be nice but yeah i know but we need to get caught up let's tell it how it is so this is one thing um behind me there's our shipping station and this ideally is going to fit over in there and who is this from again this is from jim and beth adventures with the hudson's if you haven't checked out their channel, they are um, a great couple who we are fr good friends with, and yeah, they do, um, do treasure hunting and all kinds of adventures. So definitely check out their channel. You know what we can do with this, right? This is going to be packaging. Like, yes, it's we definitely it. reusable. <laughs> um, so look at this right here. This is what we're looking for. Get that out the way. And it is in a box because it's brand new. I probably shouldn't cut that because we can reuse that too. But um, you can reuse it if you cut it. There we go. It will get reused one way or the other. Look at that. So, what this is, is what it? we got it is a new laptop to go into our shipping station oh yeah yay and i don't know is this red is that the color let's why not open it and see yeah we and, need to open it this baby and, and we got a great deal because they got the computer on the pallet wasn't it right and they um one of their one of, one of the ways they source is they buy pallets they have a, a great pallet connection place that they go to, Indianapolis Pallets. Nice. So, Ooh. So we were using an old computer. Oh, that's nice. And Ooh, look at that. Shiny. We we're using an old computer that was really slow. Um, so they got a pallet. They had a computer that didn't work, and they were able to return it, get a new, brand new one. And uh, we bought it from them. So... We actually will have a brand new computer, not just a new to us, but a brand new computer in our shipping station. That's awesome. And yes, Joan loves the color red. I do too. <laughs> and tre uh, Treasure Feek said she watched their video. <laughs> so, and with that, we have this thermal printer that's wireless that we got to go with the shipping station um, so that we can print from anywhere in the warehouse. And uh, so, we're going to set up this whole new thing. It's going to be a whole new setup. Yeah. And we have a Rolo, but it's wired, and that's actually going to go to our Amazon area, uh, staging area. So that would be nice to have a new shipping station, and it would be nice to have something that's going to work faster. And to have a wireless printer, that would be even better because sometimes we're in the office, sometimes our computer set somewhere, so that would be fun to do. Yeah. Thank you, Jim and Beth. We appreciate it. And yes. great deal. We'll let you know how it works out when we get it all set up. Thank you. And, thank uh, you. I'm pretty positive it's going to work very well. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, all right. Let's so get... that was Adventures with the Hudsons. Check out their YouTube channel. All right. Let's move that out the way because this is going to get set up here. Hey, Beer. Miss Lachey. I see you jumped in there. I'm doing double duty here, looking through the camera and then flipping back and forth at the chat. <laughs> <laughs> and here's another thing, actually. Talking about the shipping station, Lisa actually came up with this idea. A little pro tip. When we do our um, pictures, especially if we got a measure, she actually put... What is so that? So this used to be... 
a ruler that said the Home Depot on it. And I was tired of advertising for other companies. So I got the idea to put our name and, our label, name it and, and label it all the way down. So if you if you know about our online auctions, you go to www.recycleneo.com. That's where you can connect to our, our online auctions. Um, you'll actually see these in the pictures of the items that it's uh, now saying who our company is. As so. we show you the measurements of items and people still come in and go, oh, that's way bigger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay because they're pleasantly surprised usually. Right. So this here is the start of a project that um, um, I know Lisa really has been waiting for us to get this unburied. It's a nice piece of mid-century furniture, um, really a china cabinet and hutch, but we're going to redo it. And this here was our Amazon package. Can can you pause that opening so I can go over there and show them I what's going to be are. in it? So or are you going to do this first and then that? No, actually, I was thinking, let's give them a quick idea what we have and then show them what it's going to be. Okay, so okay. right over here, we can pan right over here. We picked up this sort of like, you can see me in the mirror. Um, inexpensive display cabinet, curio cabinet to house our new collection of uranium glass. And the idea was to put the black lights in there but um the collection is overflowing and then we got that other piece so we're going to um get that other piece all yeah, so actually, connected or cleaned up sorry so we have some of it in here so when people come in our front door they get to see like the little pieces of uranium glass and with the black light you can see how it shines up or it glows basically yeah so we want to get it all in yep. one place and then we have this cabinet here she was showing you which if it's not glowing or lit up i mean people really just see it as green glass you're um, going too fast i'm not oh sorry <laughs> to include look at this piece right here i really like this piece because most people would not assume that that is uranium glass because without the light it just looks like milk glass but so let's so this is the piece over here oh, and we'll put a link to the video they're never going to be able to see it because it's buried okay. <laughs> it's all right you can see the back and the side of it this is a china cabinet hutch and this whole thing actually we're going to clean it up and yeah. In this box we're about to show you, we're gonna light this thing up. So oh, yeah. let's so open it and see let's what it go looks see like. See what's in the box. But these and, are the little projects that and we Joan just said don't awesome get to collection, by the way. Because we are, you know, keeping up with inventory and clients and stuff like that. So so in this box, besides some warehouse supplies. We have, we'll tell you how these work, but look at that. So that nice china cabinet that we just got, well, no, actually, we, we didn't just get it. We'll link the video, though. We got these strips of black lights that we're going to run through the whole case and light it up so that when we have our pickups, or actually, if we do a live at the counter like we were, in the background, we'll have the nice little collection highlighted. Um, but we're going to wire up the shelves and the whole china cabinet so everything is going to be under black light. So how much how long how much length do we have of lighting? How much length? Um and we got these through Amazon. He saw us open the box. This is uh I I want to say it was like 70 feet. So it's 24 meters. <laughs> Joan, so it, can you do a uh, a meters to feet conversion real quick for us? <laughs> I mean, I can look at what, well, when I bought it from Amazon, I, I want to say it was 70 feet. Yeah. So So anyway, we it's a lot, so it should be enough to. It might be enough. We'll see. Um, right. 
yeah, here it is. It is 79 feet. Okay. So here's the conversion chart right here. So we're right here. 79 feet is how much I bought. And hopefully that will do the whole China cabinet, but it only costs 30 bucks. So um, if we need more, well, I do have to buy connectors is the other thing because it's going to be chopped up. So, you well, know, I can't run is... this whole strip and not have to chop it up, which that's the other thing. Like I was reading, you can cut it right there. And those are connectors and there's some connector pieces I'll get to make it simple. Or you can actually uh, solder it with, so with a soldering iron. But I'll just get the connectors because the connectors are about 10 bucks for 30 of them, I think, something like that. So yeah. um, I don't know how many I'll need, but uh, 30 to should do pretty good to get it wired up. So I would say so. Yeah. And then we're going to wire this up a little bit, too, because we right. have a little so overflow. <laughs> right in here as well so that's where we were sitting that's sort of our checkout counter when people come to the auctions and then we have this little display case um with a hodgepodge of stuff in it but there is one piece yeah we just found that that's a pretty cool piece right there yeah so nice little bowl so we'll wire that case up too i don't know i don't know how much more is going to go in there it depends <laughs> on how it all fits and displays in the big case you so, know how, how it's going to end up fitting? We're going to end up buying more uranium glass to load up that one, and we're going to end up with overflow. That's how that's going to work. Probably. <laughs> so um, we are working on buying some more uranium glass. I was working on getting her some more uranium glass last week, but the pickup just didn't work well, so we weren't able to pick it up, so I didn't end up winning. In one auction, I even forgot about it. So Someone uh likes uranium glass just as much as i do right hey it's like black lights all <laughs> white party you name it black lights are fun black lights are fun so this all right is, so this was an interesting package. piece like no like fold it up this this is how it came we got this package i'm covering up his the sender's name gotcha. but and it looked like a return i'm like what is this and then I open it up and there's this thing and piece of fabric, a letter and a letter. So, so it, it was, uh, they sent us something It said, hi, there's a story behind the enclosed shirt. A number of years ago, I traveled to Belize for a week to go snorkeling off Ambergris K. I don't know if I said that right, but if I didn't, somebody let me know. I had a blast, enjoyed the waters, the weather, the people, and even the beachfront bar that had cold beer and no floor. Interesting. During my time there, I purchased an unbelievable t-shirt, which unfortunately proved to be a size too small. After stewing over the mistake for years, I finally decided <laughs> to see if I could find the same shirt in the size that fit me. I found one being offered by you on eBay and you promptly filled my order. Thanks. At the suggestion of my sweetheart, I'm sending back to you the unbelievable t-shirt that does not fit me. What better way to support your business than to give something back that might find its way to someone who had as wonderful an experience in Belize as I did? So we have an eBay store. And one of the things we've been loading it up with, um, because we can find it at abundance without having to, well, we can find a lot of it, is clothes. Um, destination t-shirts is a big seller. And that was a destination t-shirt to Belize that someone ordered from us. And as you heard that letter, we're opening up his shirt that didn't fit, that he bought years and years ago and, and still had thoughts of regret and thought, let me see if I can find it on eBay somewhere. Yeah, we happen to have it. Um, and the funny thing is this, well, not funny, but this looks brand new still. Well, he said it didn't, it was too small, so he never wore it. Right, so, but I mean, I mean that doesn't necessarily mean it has is... to look brand new, though. Yeah. Oh. Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know where it could have been stored, but that I mean, is true. That but is actually um, it's going a very to go. Nice shirt. This yep. is going to go back in our eBay store. Yeah. Um, and it's a size medium. Medium. So there we are. We probably had a size large or extra large um, because we do find that those are the most popular sizes. But, uh, Anyway, 
that was a fun little story that we thought we'd share with you guys. Yeah. And it makes what we do meaningful. Like that's actually how we came up with our business name way before YouTube. Our actual business is Recycle NEO could be for Northeast Ohio, which is where we live. But if you're not in Northeast Ohio, it could be Recycle Neo, which also stands for new. And that's what we like to do. We like to find things that keep it out of the landfill, keep it from getting tossed out, find things that are of value and rehome them. Yep. So and we we've done it from estate sales where somebody deceased and the family's helping liquidate the personal property to we've done it with downsizing seniors or even that you don't even have to be a senior. We have people that are moving out of state, moving and, across the country yeah, and just and, can't take all their stuff with them. Right. So here we're helping them downsize or liquidate stuff that, you know, uh, it's a value, but they can't take it with them because of the cost. Um, so, and then we have consigners, so, which that's what you've seen a little bit of in the warehouse. So we have consigners where they bring it to us and then we sell it. And a lot of our stuff goes through these auctions. And again, that's through www.recycleneo.com where you can find them because we're posting up. We're on a path of getting to a thousand lots regularly a month. And that's just the, first, the beginning of our goal. Um, but we're trying to liquidate a thousand lots a month through that our online auctions on a regular basis. So we're always selling stuff. It's just where do you find it? Um, so. But that was an unbelievable part. Like that's kind of why we came up with our name, Recycle NEO, because we're always trying to help rehome usable, good, pre-owned products, items. Yes, indeed. Does anybody got any questions about anything? If you do, just drop them in the <laughs> chat. I am looking at the chat periodically <laughs> as I'm also running the camera. Uh-oh, I just lost the chat. <laughs> There it is. Yep. I see it. Oh, Bill jumped in. Hello, Bill. Hey, Bill. How you doing? We got Thrift and Flip here. Hello, hello. What's happening, Thrift and Flip? Um, I'm just standing here. Waste. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wasting time smoking. Well. Miss Shea said, nice letter. Yeah, for someone to go out of their way to take their time to do that yeah. is very thoughtful. And we will, um, he included his email. So we're going to email him. Right. Um, and we're going to post a, that little clip of the videos and send him the link so that he can see and he can get a personal thank you from us as well. Yeah. So, I mean, that doesn't happen every day. So, yeah. <clears throat> And this here, so what do you got there? Well, you know what we have here? We have something that I didn't really think that I would ever fix or replace, right? I mean, so we had the opportunity. Um, I won't even say we had an opportunity. I saw Jeremy from What the Hells, um, and I know he's very he's the one that got us into how valuable O lights are. So I saw him uh probably about a month, month and a half ago at an auction and I had asked him if he might have had an extra battery for O lights. So the short story is he let me borrow battery for a light that I bought. And I don't think it made it a couple days before it just doesn't work. Um, never thought to check the battery on it. Um, um, I was thinking of buying a battery for it. He let me borrow a battery that was working and went home, tested the light. And the short story is it just doesn't work. Um, and battery it was, uh, was charged. Battery was good. And it's a headlamp yeah, light. Yeah, which I love those. So here's the, you can put on your head or you can carry it. It's um, very heavy. Oh, lights are very, like, they're solid. So, like, when you have it on your head, it's very heavy. But it's so, so awesome. I bought two, one for me, one for Lisa. So hers worked. Mine didn't. Um, and got to test this battery out and found out that it wasn't the battery. The light, for whatever reason, just wasn't working. So... Jeremy um, actually reached out to Olight. I know he's um, very influential. Um, and they asked him how many lights he needed because he said a buddy of his, um, Jeremy's words, he told me his email was a buddy of mine, has a light that's not working. 
Um, and basically, Olight said, how many do you need? So he got us two more lights. And now, actually, instead of it being black, now we have one that's off color, <laughs> a different color, so we can recognize whose light it is. So, nice. Um, but he said, uh, I need two lights, and they sent him two lights. So yesterday, we had an opportunity to sit down with, uh, for lunch and uh, talk with Jeremy and George and check out these lights, mm -hmm. which... If you have not tried an Olight, we're going to have to put a link in the description. Um, so I'll I'll talk to Jeremy about his link. But these lights here, oh, my God, we love them. Love them to death. And uh, we so appreciate that. Um, so that's a nice little thank you we'll be sending out to What the Hells Again. Um, because I really can't believe that we got that light fixed or replaced. Yeah. And it's been like, I think, a year and a half. And I was just kind of chalking it up as a loss. So, yeah. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. Me Get it too. charged up, test it out. And uh, I'll have oh, a headlamp again. Yay. <laughs> so got to show that because we so appreciate that. And I don't know. That just makes me smile. Those O lights are awesome. So, um, yeah. That's like that's you just said, me. like we were talking about yesterday at, at lunch, you know, you can see all the way to the back of a storage unit with yeah. it. It just In broad right daylight. Yeah. So, and not all, most flashlights don't do that. So. No. And I know when we're looking at storage units, I'm trying not to flash the light because I don't want to light it up for everybody to see all the goodness in there. So, yeah. but you know, Hey, they work well. So yes. All right. I'm sorry. I'm getting me a quick drink. Oh, am okay. I moving too fast? <laughs> nope. I don't know what I'm supposed to focus on you drinking. <laughs> The giant TV up there that we watch YouTube on. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. So here's the painstaking part of our journey. We want to take you on a little tour of our inventory that we just got in in the last, what, couple weeks? Actually, yeah, in the last couple weeks. Joan says she wants a, an Olight for her push bike. Yes. We love Jeremy and George, too. So. So. We're walking away from the computer, so unfortunately, the comments. We're not going to be able to see the chat yeah. for a few minutes, but. Uh, Actually, if you step over here, then we can walk our way back. All right. So this is our big garage door where everything comes in. <laughs> so. And there <laughs> is an overview of some of it. <laughs> right. So like here, you can see if you come go to our current online auction you can see some of these items already so we have our lot numbers on them and this right up here up front we have an auction ending today um so a lot of this right here is in that auction yep and, and what happens is people will bid on them most things will start at a dollar every well everything will start at a dollar but some items may have a reserve on them but most of them there's no reserve wherever it goes to if it's one dollar if it's a hundred dollars you know whoever has the highest bid at the end usually will win that item we have a day to organize the warehouse and not usually up... they will <laughs> right sure <laughs> um not um usually we have a day we organize it and then the next day um so usually it's a day in between pickup and then people locally come and pick up items from the warehouse and we do ship we do we are getting more into people that buy things that want request shipping because not all of the companies through our site that we're associated with do shipping uh, but we do try to ship especially small you know non-fragile items um but you can see all this here but we do have other stuff that now is in front of it. This just came in Saturday. These. So what we have here, and it's not pretty because we have to maximize our space. So everything gets cataloged and photographed and you bid on it online. But then we just shove it in as tightly as possible so that we can fit as much in. Um, and that's why people don't really come here to shop. Everything happens online. Saturday, so, we had a new consigner drop off a load of stuff. Look at that piece. And this was one of the pieces. So this is going to be in an auction coming up in September. It's a beautiful Italian glass vase. And this is a giant piece from Hager. No chips. Marked on the bottom. That is upside down. But yeah. <laughs> there we go. still read it. I know. 
but it's uh it's a beautiful example and no chips at all and then look at this what is um, i didn't see this but i know you were like this, this is, is fire king nope this anchor, is anchor hawking. hawking sorry gotcha and this is a four piece nesting bowl set oh is it <clears throat> wait a minute I only see nope there are four yeah, pieces in here nice okay um it says fire king but i well it fire looks king like fire and king anchor and, hawking are mm -hmm. the same but um that's the tulip bowls so i mean we don't think that it it was ever used we don't know that for sure but like to have the, the original, original packaging box. yeah is exactly. so cool um so so this is going to go in an auction um see and we haven't even we haven't really even looked through all of this yet so we'll do some unboxings this? This with is, this stuff this is a linen collection like in a scrapbook <laughs> wow so this is like hand crocheted stuff there's um letters included so there's so one thing we love about what we do is the history of the things that we encounter and the beauty like the artwork this is a lost form of artwork embroidery and linens i mean there's still sorry i keep going back there's still like the original tag okay so maybe that's not hand embroidered but um just so yeah, just, many cool vintage, i mean and look at this yeah and the whole <laughs> binder is full right so that'd be fun to go through and really, you know, picture and catalog that. So we got a lot of furniture, a lot of brown furniture that sometimes doesn't sell well. <laughs> but look at then that. we have fun things like this. Look at exactly. that old Tonka. And I don't see the back of it because it's a truck of some sort. But um obviously this is a piece that it's small enough that we could ship it and yep. that'd be shipping and it's vintage tonka so yeah. i mean that's going to be you know somebody's going to be interested in that um so this is a few things in this box you can see we have to go through this whole box look at that i'm sorry squirrel look at that this is a really old asian trunk um that is that does have some damage, but oh, it's just a clasp on the front. Um, it's a beautiful piece. Yeah, and if anyone didn't really know, one of the things that got really Lisa and I gravitate to is vintage. Oh, this oh, is a cedar is a, chest. Yeah, there's a piece. Yeah, up there, but vintage, mid-century, modern, antique furniture. Pick was, up that old saw was where we first started look at this or our now, first love this is a great great decor piece if you have that primitive look if you're decorating a man cave or if you need to chop off someone's toe i mean <laughs> sorry <laughs> that is definitely uh whoo we got lamps these are library chairs they have like a little arm desk on them, more contemporary. And they are not light. Lamps, lamps, old cane chairs. Ooh, what's and in then here? China, silverware. Is that what this is? Lanterns, canning stuff. Silverware, gold, <laughs> not real gold. No. <laughs> But people like that color, though. And then, really, right here is the mass of the smalls. Like, probably almost anything in here is going to be shippable. I mean, unless yeah. it's the old China set, because we'll probably not be shipping the China set yet. Um, but this is all going to show up in some unboxing videos. So stay tuned for that, because they're so much like right there it says vintage linens here we have canning jars look at that newspaper where do you want to see how old that newspaper is well he just walked away so let me see if i can oh it's so brittle like you can't even see if i can find a piece of it 
I don't know if I'm going to be able to find a date on there, but um, there's Nora's Hockey China collectibles, antiques. So stay tuned for lots of unboxings. There he and, is. He's back. Yes, I'm back. So as you show that, the table behind you, that's what we're, we have going into our next auction. So, so a lot of this stuff that's in the boxes that you just saw us for probably sometime in September, this is what's going in the auction before we even get to that. So, so as we unbox it, we stage it on these tables mm -hmm. and it's just piles of stuff because this is the consigner that came in a couple weeks ago and mm -hmm. we've been working through her stuff. And so that's where we set it. This is where it's lotted. And these are separate lots that will be put into um, our next auction. So we are, this is, but this is also some of our stuff because these came out of the Painesville units. So we got Tom Madden shoes, Converse shoes, North Face shoes, Skechers, Ugg boots. And this came out of, if you saw the video we dropped yesterday, um, we've got a storage unit full of new stuff. That's what the shoes just so came we got out of. The, the shoes that I was just talking oh, about. Oh, right. That's Painesville. <laughs> right, right. Painesville. Sorry, they don't know. I don't know why know. I keep thinking it's like, what was Euclid? Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, that's a different unit in itself. Um, so, we're and combining. this is the consigner. Look at this stuff. Yeah, we're combining some of our stuff with the consigner stuff. So we got some die cast cars in here. There's a whole box. It's a whole box of die cast cars. There's some Legos. Legos. We got lots of vintage little people. Fisher Price. Yep. And then she had a ton of brand new in the box shoes. So there's probably, um, I know there's already some catalog. There's probably 20 to 25 pairs of brand new in the box women's shoes. Just it's a lot of stuff so, for us to go through. It's definitely a lot. It's a lot. A thousand so, lots a month is a lot. But so we need help. Our help is uh, we need somebody to help us rehome this. So <laughs> it's all going to be going up for sale. Um, and the great thing is it's no, no trash to weed through. So none of it's getting thrown out. All this is going to get lotted up and sold and clear out the warehouse so we can start all over again. <laughs> yep. So. Um. And actually, we could take a walk down the shelves real quick. Okay. Let's go back this way. Um, while we're back here, just a quick glance into our photo area. We have a large photo box, large light box, two tables that are makeshift photo studios, and then the smaller light box. And then we have our clothes board over there. That's where our the uh, team sits when they come and enter or do the cataloging. And this is the messy part of the warehouse. Like, yeah. you can't see it from the front. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're just walking really quickly through that part. And that sale that's coming up where you saw the tables going down the this row here, this is all of our stuff already no. that we've listed. No, this is the sale that's ending tonight. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, so yeah. All yeah. of this stuff down this row on the left, Roy's right, is going to be picked up on Wednesday. Right, right. So <laughs> look at this big tote of Hot Wheels track. Some die cast cars, Hot Wheels cars. And that case is actually loaded with Hot Wheels. Um, Halloween decor. Marble eggs. What do we have? These are what? Brooches? Vintage. That's a whole um, lot of vintage jewelry. Brooches. Ephemera. Necklaces. Ephemera and old books. We got yarn. I don't string. even know. String. String, yarn. And yarn. There's another lot of yarn. There's the yarn. So all this, oh, even PlayStation games or video games are coming in here. Movies, DVD player. Yeah, because this lady is moving from Ohio to North Carolina, and she has 
young adult boys. So even in the sale, we have the whole Airsoft collection, remember? Yep, look at that. Nice little door knocker. That's pretty solid. So, yeah, all this ends tonight. That is correct. And uh, we'll see where that goes, too. So, <laughs> um, All right, and here we are, back to the front. <laughs> back to the front. Are we going to jump on the on the chairs for a minute? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to switch over the camera. Maybe. Hopefully. There we are. Hi. And we're back. Well, um, we appreciate you joining us. We just wanted to kind of pop on and say... Uh, Hey, it's KT. How you doing? Hi, guys. We just wanted to kind of pop on and say hi and, you know, do a quick live and um, get back into the, you know, KT say, should have told us. We just did a pop up because we always say we're going to do a live and we always and we put it off. So um, we've been struggling with this, what, for at least a week. So we finally just threw it together and jumped on. And that still took us, what, 45 minutes to an hour to remember how to do this so <laughs> no comments <laughs> <laughs> see um but, but we're, we're hoping to um schedule more regularly so yeah. we'll um definitely let you guys know in yep. the future we just pulled the band-aid off today and said you know what if people jump on great but let's just do it and yeah it still took us an hour to do it <laughs> um but we definitely appreciate you joining us. Thank you. Hey, congrats on hitting 4K for you guys. So um, what does that say? Great love how big your warehouse is. It is definitely bittersweet how big it can be because <laughs> um, we will see how quickly we can get through this. But we appreciate it, Treasure Freaks. We uh, try to keep it organized, but sometimes things just come in that quickly. So, yeah. Um, you just do the best you can, and it's constantly moving stuff around. But yeah. you move it in, you process it, and you move it out as quickly as possible. That's the goal. Yeah. And actually, I had mentioned earlier about um, our goal of trying to hit a 1,000 lots a month. So we've been really tracking it the past couple months. And we actually had exactly 500 lots we ran through. This is August. So that was last month, July. July. Um, our next sale is probably going to go, I think we have it scheduled to end the beginning of September. So that's going to fall on September. Um, but this month we hit for, we hit 600 and Six, about 680, about 680. So that is where we're at for August. So we didn't hit the thousand this month, but we definitely went in the what? right trajectory. Yeah. We did more lots this month than last month. So. Um, we're really hoping to shoot as much of this through September as possible and hopefully hit that thousand. But that's the goal. It's an ongoing, you know, as long as we keep getting there, we're going to learn how to get there regularly. And that's really what's been going on. And we've been so busy doing that. So we just wanted to make sure we started to share a little bit because, I mean, we have a lot of things going on and it's just been hard to just make a video or, or you know, it's been coming quick, coming quick. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, that being said, anybody have any questions for us? Yeah, feel free. We got time. So, <laughs> actually, we really don't. We have to get back to work. <laughs> We've been on almost an hour, 50 minutes. Have we? It doesn't even seem that way. I know. It goes, it does go fast. That's yes, for it sure. does. KT said, we missed it all. What you working on? You'll have to go back and watch. <laughs> <laughs> We're working on a lot. Uh, just all the, all the consigner stuff that we've brought in over the last couple weeks. Yeah, we um we actually have a whole trailer full of consigner oh, stuff too. Right. To include a painting that 
could be pretty valuable. It was it's by Mark Chagall, and um, we need to get that out of the trailer. I forgot all about the trailer. Yeah. So wow. I mean, so, we um definitely wow. We brought in quite a lot of stuff. So <laughs> yeah. Um, but. But when we get calls from consigners and we go out to their house to look at what they have and it's good stuff and, you know, we know we can make some money on it and we can make some money for them. It's hard to turn it down. Yeah, so <laughs> it is. It's almost like, you know, buying storage units. You know, if you're already overloaded and you got one, but you see another good one. I mean, do you just let somebody else get it or do you just, you know, you figure out how to make it work? Yes, exactly. I mean, yeah. that's how that's the fun and the love of the game and sometimes the curse too <laughs> bill said i could add to that pile if you would like <laughs> oh bill i was thinking about you the other day i miss i miss the public storage runs i miss seeing everybody I miss seeing you and you can come over anytime bill is a local guy here who we used to see all the time at the public storage live auction runs mm -hmm. um and uh he's kind of around the corner here in Berea. So yeah, we're always here in Berea, Bill. So anytime you just yeah. pop by and <laughs> yeah. Um so well we appreciate you all signing in and checking us out. And uh we're gonna try and do this more. Uh but you know thanks for joining us. Yep. Thanks. So. Have a great rest of your day and we'll see you next time.